Bienvenidos and welcome to another episode of Spain on a Fork. Today we're coming in with another delicious recipe that's very easy to make and comes to you in just 20 minutes, making it the perfect dish for one of those busy weeknight dinners. We're talking pan fried cod with garlic tomatoes. This is known in Spain as bacalao frito con tomate salajillo. And let me tell you, just because this is a very simple dish that comes together quickly, it doesn't mean it lacks in flavors. In fact, it is the complete opposite as it's filled with so many amazing textures and flavors. Folks serve this dish next to a crunchy baguette and a bottle of Spanish albariño from the wine region of Rias Paixas, you're gonna have yourself one heck of a fabulous meal. All right, let's begin by getting our ingredients ready. I'm gonna grab eight cloves of garlic, Remove the skins from each clove. As you know, I like to give them a quick twist as the skin is easily removed. And we'll roughly chop the garlic. Then we'll grab one and a half cups of cherry tomatoes, which is about 225 grams. These have already been washed and dried. And cut each one in half lengthwise. Then we'll grab a handful of fresh parsley, finely chop it. And finally, we'll add in two cod fillets over some paper towels. The size of each fillet is eight ounces, which is about 250 grams, and pat them completely dry. Now the cod that I'm using, I bought frozen and thawed out, just to make things easier and cheaper. Of course, you can also use fresh cod here if you like, as well as any other type of firm white fish, such as tilapia, halibut, or even hake, which is known as merluza in Spain. And we'll season the fillets of cod with a kiss of sea salt and freshly cracked black pepper, and you want to do this on both sides. For the next step, I'm going to heat a large fry pan with a medium heat and add in a quarter cup of extra virgin olive oil, which is 60 milliliters. For this recipe, make sure to use a great olive oil as it's what really flavors all the ingredients. I'm using a Spanish one from the Georgetown Olive Oil Company. You'll find a link where you can get some in the description box below. Once the olive oil is nice and hot, but it's not smoking, we'll add in the cod fillets into the pan, making sure they're both in a single layer. Now the thickness of these fillets are about half an inch thick, which is one and a quarter centimeters. So the ideal cooking time here is about two and a half minutes per side. Of course, if the fillets you're using are a little thinner, go for about 30 seconds less. And if they're a little bit thicker, go for 30 seconds more. Either way, make sure not to overcook the fish, otherwise it's gonna get a tough rubbery texture to it. Once the fillets of cod are perfectly cooked through, I'm gonna remove them from the fry pan and transfer them over a wire rack with some paper towels underneath. Now using the same pan with the same heat, I'm gonna add in the chopped garlic and we'll mix it around. That way it's all coated in that olive oil and it's important to mix the garlic around continuously. That way it doesn't brown too quickly and it all evenly sautés. After about 30 seconds and the garlic is lightly sautéed, you don't wanna brown it too much. We'll add in the cherry tomatoes And we'll continue to mix this and lightly saute the tomatoes just for a few minutes. After about three minutes and the cherry tomatoes are lightly sauteed, you don't want to continue to saute them for too long, otherwise they're going to start to fall apart. I'm going to add in half a cup of white wine, which is 120 milliliters. If white wine is not your thing, you can substitute it for any type of broth you like with a squeeze of fresh lemon juice. Then we'll add in two tablespoons of our chopped parsley, which is about eight grams. And season everything with sea salt and freshly cracked black pepper. And we'll give it one final mix until everything's well mixed together and then simmer it for a couple minutes without mixing the mixture. After about three to four minutes, and you can see that the white wine has reduced in half and the alcohol has been cooked off. We'll add in the cod fillets back into the pan. And we'll spoon some of the sauce over the cod fillets and continue to cook this for about 30 seconds or so or until those cod fillets are fully heated through. Then we'll remove the pan from the heat 
and we'll serve it directly out of the fry pan sprinkled with freshly chopped parsley. Check it out, pan fried cod with garlic tomatoes. Once again, known in Spain as bacalao frito con tomates al ajillo. Beautiful restaurant quality presentation, super easy to make, and all done in about 20 minutes. Let's give it a try and see how it turned out. So I'm such a huge fan of cod, known as bacalao in Spain, so this is a dish I truly can't wait to try. Here we go. Absolutely delicious. For me, another one of those uh, Spanish recipes that truly define the Spanish kitchen. A ton of great flavors, honest clean cooking, and absolutely no difficult techniques. And as for the food, that cod just melts in your mouth and the garlic tomatoes, taking things to the next level. Once again, give this a try at home. Serve it next to a crunchy baguette to mop up all that goodness. And a bottle of Spanish albariño from the wine region of Frias Baixas. You're going to have yourself such an incredible meal. Real quick before I go, uh, shout out to a couple of my patrons, Ellen M. Hirschman, Britt Saunders, Tandy Irvin, Debbie Lee and Maria. Again, guys, thank you so much for being patrons of Spain on Fork. You know how much I appreciate you. If you enjoyed today's video, hit that like button, uh, leave me a comment below, and if you're not subscribed, don't forget to smash that subscribe button and click on the bell icon. That way you can get notified every time I release new content and to become a part of the Spain on Fork family. Till the next time, hasta luego.